Hey guys, it's GTA Technology, and today I'm going to show you how to edit the jar file, any jar file for that matter. But in this case, I'll be using the Minecraft server jar. Uh, of course, as I said just a second ago, this will also work for the Minecraft.jar. It's made for all Mac OS X versions in mind. Um, in this case, I'll be using Lion, which will cover the weird issue when you uncompress it, it gives you a CP something instead of a uh, zip or a folder. So I'll be covering that, and also just how to edit the files and then repackage it. So let's go ahead and start off. Most tutorials will tell you to right click the jar and open it with the archive utility. But as you can see in line, it creates this. And unfortunately, when you double click that, it just returns the jar again. So obviously that's not gonna work. And most people that make those videos leave the comments unanswered because either they don't care or they don't know the answer. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how we resolve this issue. All you gotta do is rename it from Minecraft server.jar or whatever your file is. Change.jar to .zip. Say use.zip, double click it, and there you go. So right now I'm gonna show you how to install mod loader MP and Minecraft Forge into your server. Now um, I'm not gonna show you how to download these, I'm just gonna go ahead and use the files I downloaded myself. But if you need to find them, just search it up on Google and you should find it immediately. Go ahead and install Mod Loader. Just select all the files, copy them, go into the Minecraft server folder, or it will be called, it will make a folder called the name of your jar file. And just paste it in there. Replace anything that it tells you to replace. Do the same for Forge. I tried using Terminal to do this, using commands, and it did not work out too well. I also tried using a program called Pacifist and that didn't work out too well. And uh, so basically this is the best method to use on the Mac. Once you've go up, went ahead and uh, imported all your files, uh, go into the folder, select all the files, right click and click compress. Uh, it'll compress it into a thing called archive.zip. With the archive, you're going to rename it to your original jar name, so we're gonna call it, I'm gonna call mine Minecraft Server Jar. Ignore the warning, say use jar. There you go, you're done. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you it in action. I'm gonna go ahead and upload it to my server. Alright. Now I'm going to restart my server. As you can see, it's still green, which means it's working. I'll show you, I'll go to the console. And as you can see, it is running perfectly fine with mob loader, mod loader installed. Um, to get the clean versions of your Minecraft.jars, you can update your Minecraft if you want the client version to the original form by deleting the Minecraft folder in your application support under library, under your main account. And to get the server, you just go to minecraft.net and you download it from the website. So that's it. Uh, if this helped, rate, comment, and subscribe. Even though you hear that in all the videos, I really appreciate it if you do subscribe because as simple as this is, I did spend a few hours trying to find the best way to do it. And also it uh, might have helped you with the issue with the line where it makes that CP weird archive file. Anyways, so if you want to check out my channel, I also have tutorials on how to make plugins using bucket for your Minecraft server. Also some things on Xcode, which is how you make iPhone apps or Mac apps. And uh, a few other coding tutorials. So you should check that out. And this wraps up this tutorial. Thanks for watching.